The recent surge of coups in the central Sahel region, marked by the rise of military juntas in Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, has exacerbated the region's already existing turmoil. This volatile landscape has become a breeding ground for extreme violence and jihadist activities, exacerbating an already difficult socio-political environment. Notably, anti-French sentiments have been on the rise as a result of widespread dissatisfaction and distrust of former colonial powers. A significant development has emerged against this turbulent backdrop. The formation of the Alliance of Sahel States, AES. The formation of this coalition by Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali represents a strategic shift in regional dynamics. While the bloc's specific goals and strategies have yet to be revealed, this alliance presents a unified front that could address the region's shared challenges, such as security threats, economic insecurity, and the impact of jihadist movements. The formation of the AES reflects these nations' attempt to chart a collective course amidst internal strife and external pressures, signaling a critical step in regional cooperation during turbulent times. With AES members signing a declaration in support of a confederation that is united in both the political and monetary domains. So, could new African countries not be formed soon? In this video, we'll look at what's going on in the Sahel states, why a new alliance was formed, and whether or not it can actually work. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay in the loop and be notified when we release new videos if you haven't already. Let's start with a look at what's going on in the region. For more than five years, the central Sahel countries of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso have witnessed a devastating war between government forces and armed Islamist groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara. More than 10,000 people were killed in armed conflict in Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso in 2022, and an estimated 2.7 million people are internally displaced in the region. Seizures, blockades, kidnappings, bombings, and ethnic massacres have plagued the region, as have the destruction of places of worship, health centers, food reserves, water services, and other infrastructure. In recent years, the region's political instability has been exacerbated by rampant violence. Mali and Burkina Faso have both had two military coups since 2020, and Niger was also the victim of a coup in July of this year. And as the Sahel security situation deteriorates, the Chunta's military camp campaigns have become more ferocious. Burkina Faso has pursued a total war strategy against jihadists, recruiting tens of thousands of civilian volunteers into self-defense militias. Meanwhile, Niger's military ruler, Abdul Rahman Chiani, terminated the country's security agreements with the EU and expelled approximately 130 Europeans from the EU Capsa Hell civilian mission, in addition to 1,500 French troops. And the UN's 10-year-long peacekeeping mission officially left Mali on Monday, after the country's military junta demanded it leave in June. So, why have Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso joined forces? For a while now, the three ruling juntas have been making decisions in tandem, and they hope to form a formal confederation with shared security, political, and military goals. With that in mind, let's look at the three main reasons for the alliance. 1. Safety 2. Sanity and 3. Ideological overlap first and foremost, there is security. The official AES alliance began in September, when the three states signed the liptako gormachata Mutual Defense Pact, named after the vast region where their borders meet and which is home to 45% of the country's combined population. If one of the countries is attacked, the other signatories are obligated to intervene, including through the use of armed force, to restore and ensure security. The three states have pledged to assist each other in combating extremist violence across borders, which is especially difficult in areas of the Sahel, such as forests, which have become hideouts for criminal gangs and bandits. 2. Legitimacy, the idea of a confederation between Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger is primarily an attempt to legitimize their military governments and demonstrate to other countries that they are not internationally isolated. After falling under military rule, the three states were suspended from the regional bloc ICOs, and ICOs has also heavily sanctioned Niger to try to prevent future coups. 
ECOWAS, on the other hand, has refused to recognize the AES, which Chairman and Nigerian President Bola Tinubu has described as a phantom pushback alliance seeking to divert attention away from our mutual quest for democracy and good governance. From the UN's peacekeeping mission. However, Operation Barking, as it was dubbed, fell short of fully addressing the region's security crisis, and French troops withdrew from Mali in 2022 after the Malian government replaced them with Russia's infamous Wagner Group. This leads to another point of ideological convergence. All three countries want closer cooperation with Russia. Following Mali and Burkina Faso, the three military juntas have welcomed Russian officials to the Sahel in recent months, and Niger has hinted at the possibility of formal ties with Moscow, which does not currently have an embassy or military presence in Niger. The Kremlin has recently increased its commercial and military activities in Africa, and it has embraced the idea of a Sahel Confederation. Russia has also expressed its approval of the AES, which it sees as an ideal framework for cooperation between the Russian Federation and the Sahel states. So, while Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali may have some common interests, can a confederation work in practice? On the security front, well-informed analysts agree that the AES alone lacks the resources to combat Islamist extremism in the region, given that France struggled to do so and no state has a functioning air force. On the economic front, this new union could be beneficial if it persuades ECOAS to lift sanctions against Niger, allowing them to access aid. However, ECOACE has stated that they will not consider lifting sanctions until there is progress toward civilian rule. The three governments also announced in November their intention to establish a joint stabilization fund and investment bank, but there were no specifics on how this would work. The recent announcement by Niger's military leadership that is considering the formation of a military union adds to the growing discontent with French influence in the region. This potential alliance appears to reflect more than just military cooperation. It appears to be a manifestation of their grievances against French involvement. This sentiment has been brewing amid perceptions of France's continued control, particularly over economic and monetary policies. The ongoing discussions about the launch of a new common currency called the ECO by ECOAS by 2027 have revealed dissatisfaction among several West African countries, including Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. These countries currently use the CFA franc, a French-controlled currency that is seen as a symbol of monetary colonialism. Member countries are required to deposit a significant portion of their foreign reserves with the French treasury under the CFA franc system. Furthermore, any significant withdrawal from these reserves necessitates borrowing from France, limiting their financial autonomy. The proposal for a common currency or monetary union is seen as a countermeasure to the CFA franc's dominance and control. Nonetheless, despite discussions and aspirations for a common currency or monetary union, their realization remains a long way off. The primary motivation for these proposals appears to be a defiance of France's influence, rather than a clear path to an immediate monetary transition. The intention is more symbolic, signaling resistance to the grip of monetary policies that France has long perceived as a form of economic subjugation. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon next to it.